Hey guys, it's Hank here, and I'm going to show you how you can boot Windows 10 into safe mode. And, uh, for a lot of you that are not used to Windows 8 or Windows 10 will probably be wondering how you boot your system up into safe mode because it's a little different compared to Windows 7. And, uh, there's actually numerous ways to do it, and I'm going to show you a few ways to do it from your desktop, and then I'll show you how to do it from the boot menu as well. So, we're here on a virtual uh, copy of Windows 10. And I'm going to show you a first a uh, couple ways of how to boot into safe mode while you're on your desktop. So if you're already on your desktop, this is probably the most simplest way to boot into safe mode is hit the Windows key and hold that down. And while holding that down, hit R. And when you get the run box popped up, you're going to write MSC config and click OK. And when you get the system configuration utility open, you're going to click boot, and then you're going to have an option here to check the safe mode, safe boot, and then check networking. Click apply. Click OK. I'll ask you if you want to restart the computer, and that will boot you into a safe mode. I'm going to go exit without restarting. And remember, once you boot into safe mode, you can always get out of it by going back in by hitting the Windows key, R, MS config. and going into the boot section and uh, in here on check and safe boot and click apply click ok then restart and that will get you back into your normal desktop environment so another way you can get into safe mode from your desktop on windows 10 is you can click on your uh, start right click your start menu And what you want to do is you want to go over to uh, actually I think you want to right click on your desktop go into uh, personalize I think when you do that you uh, yeah you right click on your desktop go to personalize you'll see an, a box, like a, an arrow at the very top here, at the top where it says settings. Click on that and you'll get this. And then down here you'll have update and security. Click on that. Down here you'll have recovery. And then under here you'll have advanced startup. Start from the device, USB stick, a DVD, change the window settings, system image. This will restart the computer. I'll go ahead and do so and that will also go ahead and restart the computer where you have the option to boot into safe mode. I'm just going to pause that while this restarts. Alright, so the virtual machine that I'm on restarted and we have this option to continue to Windows 10. Our, we also have troubleshoot, so you click troubleshoot, you click advanced options, startup sentence, and then in here it, it says restart to change Windows options such as enable and safe mode click restart right there by clicking on restart right there that will go ahead and give you the option to boot into safe mode I'll show you what it does here so we'll click restart and it will restart the computer into safe mode that way and when it computer restarts you're going to have the option so you press F you press the 4 key sorry yeah you press the number 4 so yeah number 4 and when you press number 4 that's going to start up safe mode All right, now we're successfully logged into safe mode here. It's just loading. Now we're completely into safe mode. So I'm going to go back to the desktop and I'm going to show you actually, actually I'll power it off here. I'm going to show you how to uh, 
boot into safe mode from the boot menu in case you can't get to your desktop to begin with. So if your computer can't boot into the desktop to begin with, I'll show you how to get into safe mode from the boot menu. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that. So what we're going to do is we're going to completely power off the virtual computer. And we're going to completely turn it back on. So power on this virtual machine. And when you power on your computer, you're going to hit the sh you hold, hit shift, hit hold down to shift and hit F8, I think it is. Yeah. It, well, it's launching Windows normally. Actually, you, you know, what you can do is when it's loading the Windows logo, what you want to do is you want to restart your system as it's loading once you have that Windows logo. So power off. As soon as you see your Windows logo when you first turn on the computer, just keep doing that. We want to keep doing that for a reason. Then if you keep doing that, if you keep restarting your computer once you see that Windows logo when it first appears when you start up your computer, it will start saying prepare an automatic repair. You want to let that run because that's going to allow you the option to get into safe mode. It's ideal to use in this method if you're a user that can't get into safe mode from the actual desktop to begin with and you can't boot the system up. This is the best way of doing it. Once again, all I did is I uh, hold, I pulled put the power off on the computer, powered it on, as soon as the Windows logo appeared, I powered off the computer, then restarted it. You may need to reset, do these steps a few times, but once you get automatic repair coming up, you can now click on advanced options, troubleshoot, advanced options again. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit system restore. All right. I did not mean to do that, so you click troubleshoot, advanced options, startup sentence, and then again you have the option to uh, start into safe mode, click restart and it will ask you to press F, the, uh, the 4 key, the letter 4, once you restart and again you can press 4 and that will boot up into safe mode for you so if you like my videos remember to comment, rate, and subscribe and hopefully it helped you get into safe mode if your computer's having problems and thanks for watching